It won't come as a surprise to you that on a girlfriend getaway with my friend Karen, cocktails enter the picture. And we didn't want to just drink them, we also wanted to learn to make them so we could keep reliving our trip once we were home. Here's how to make our two favorites, both made with sugarcane based spirits for that ultimate tropical flavor. First stop, Miami. With the celebrities, the style, naturally the cocktails were completely on trend too. Our spicy caipirinhas were so good, we just had to have the recipe. Right. So you're paying attention? Uh, more or less. Okay, good. take one of these. And... Six lime wedges in there. Two scoops of carbonado sugar. It's like a sugar in a raw. Get all the juices from the lime, get the zest of the skin. Yes, so it's gonna go oil. perfect with the fruit flavors of cachaça. Cachaça is the uh, national spirit of Brazil. A free pouring and, uh, action And what we're making right now is caprinha. Caprinha is their national uh, drink. One and a half ounce of the passion fruit puree. A dash of sriracha. Sriracha is like chili paste. To make sure everything is nice, balanced, all the sugar, all the acidity, passion fruit, zestiness. There we go, the real deal. <laughs> We put it on yeah, two ounces. Yeah, I haven't ounce. put any of this in yet. Two ounces of cachaça. If some is good, more must be better. <laughs> is this the last thing we're doing today? Because it better be. <laughs> Make a nice little cone in there. A little cone, okay, I'll help you. Uh, it's Just overflowing. It's too wide, it's too wide. Yeah, well that's when we drink it. <laughs> That is so boozy. Okay, I'm gonna take my hands away. One, two, three. Woo! Wow. See? And then what we're gonna do is we get oh, one of yeah, those boys you're here. You're so eager to drink, you forgot the there Well, go. I was only trying to help men not make a mess. Okay, what do you think, Lynn? It's good. I come from a long line of drinkers. I'm delicious. I do my family proud. <laughs> Great. See, it's good, isn't it? You awesome. do sincere Never very like well. That. Next stop, Puerto Rico. Karen's roots are in the Caribbean and she says she has rum flowing through her veins, so naturally we made a pilgrimage to one of the most famous rum distilleries in the world. Rum is a crafted product. It's not an industrial process, it's a craft. There is an aging process of two separate types of alcohols, which are then later blended to find that perfect balance of aroma and flavor that we're looking for. All of our master blenders are taught through apprenticeship, so they follow the previous master blender through the steps. They hold the secret to the formula, which nobody else knows, and my father was a master blender, and I can tell you that I do not know the formula. Um, so that is something that they hold in very high regard. They did let us in on one secret, how to make a perfect daiquiri. Same vein as a lot of classic cocktails, for example, sour, mm -hmm. where you call for three components, which work so well together. Juice of one lime. So you'd be squeezing those limes, two heaped teaspoons of sugar, so that little bit of sweetness, two ounces of that, and then just lots of ice. So a little bit of crushed ice here as well, just to get a little bit of dilution going on. Place the top on there. Karen's gonna shake away. Okay. Is, that, is there an accepted technique for shaking? Well, lift your elbows, and you wanna really try and touch all surfaces. Oh, okay. Of, of the tin. Yes? Like yeah. <laughs> okay, that's enough, Karen. That's <laughs> well, let's give that a nice okay. shake. <laughs> Motion. I didn't realize. Is that the right, right well, technique? It's, it's, there's, I think everyone has their own individual technique, you might say. <laughs> so now that our glass is nice and filled, clear away the contents, you take your strainer just to get rid of any final shards of ice. And that, ladies, is probably one of the greatest cocktails ever created. Cheers. <laughs>